Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain SNES here, and today I'm going to be giving you the story of how I got my first attention, and this actually happened very, very recently. Actually, it happened about two, three weeks ago, but I'll give you the story of what went down. So, I was in gym class one day, you know, I was getting out of gym class, everybody's like, it's the end of the day, there's one class period left, we're all excited to leave. I'm getting changed, I'm getting back into my normal school clothes, getting out of my gym clothes, and I have my phone in my locker along with my switch, but that part doesn't really matter. I just, I bring my switch to school. There you go, you know that. But I was getting all my stuff out of my locker. I was putting my clothes on and there were two people around me. Um, let's just call one of them D. Actually, you know, D is Dustin. Dustin, you guys know Dustin. There's Dustin and there was my friend, uh, I don't know, let's call him Jake. <laughs> so it was Dustin and Jake, okay? I don't know if, uh, Jake wants me to say his actual name, so we'll just call him Jake. There's Dustin and Jake, okay? And so, Dustin uh, tells me, hey, did, do you have your phone? And I'm like, no, I don't. Like, do you have it? And he's like, no, I think Jake took it. And I'm like, are, are you sure about that? I don't think he'd be, like, the person to do that. And I look at my locker, it's not there. Check my pants, it's not there. And my jacket, it's not there. Like, I always put my phone in either my pants pocket or my jacket pocket. And so, I go out of the locker room, I ask Jake, I'm like, Jake, do you have my phone? He's like, no, I don't have your phone at all. I'm like, are you sure about that? He's like, yeah, I don't have your phone. I don't have a reason to take your phone. And so I was like, all right, so it must be you, Dustin, because Dustin has a history of taking my crap, like pencils and phones and everything, um, gloves, socks. I don't know. He's weird. So he takes my crap all the time. So I thought it was him. And I kept like fighting with him like, yo, give me my phone back. Give me my phone back. And he swore he did not have it. We went to our next class, we're still fighting about this, uh, he's sitting down in his chair in the next class, I walk in, I'm like, yo Dustin, give me my phone. Now, mind you, this is before the bell even rung, so, I'm like, Dustin, give me my phone, he's like, I don't have it, and I'm like, Dustin, I know you have it, and so, we just kept arguing back and forth about this, and it got to the point where I got pissed off at him because I swore that he had it, and um, I grabbed his glasses, and went across this, it's a very small room, so I walked like three steps away from him, and then he's like jumping all over me to get his glasses. Bell still has not rung yet, okay? So then the teacher yells at us, and we go out in the hallway. She's like, I can't have you guys doing this. You guys always come into my class fighting with each other, and I'm like, we don't fight with each other. We talk to each other, but we don't fight with each other. This is probably the first time we've done that. And... Dustin's like, yeah, we didn't really do anything. And she's like, you were disrupting my class. Like, you, in the middle of class, you guys are fighting. The, the bell had not rung yet. The bell had just rung when she brought us out of the classroom. So, like, we didn't disrupt her class. She just decided to yell at us and say that she was disrupting our class. So, we argue with her out in the hallway a little bit. She says, I don't have time for this, which is bullcrap, because the teacher should deal with it, like... Yeah, she might not have time for it then, but she was like, no, I don't have time for this whatsoever. Like, not after class, nothing. But she did want us to talk to her after class, too. So, we go through class, and I'm just, like, not very talkative the entire class time. And then she's like, so, you guys know what coordinates are, right? Because we're working with, gla with uh, graphs in class. She's like, you know what coordinates are, right? Like, if you ever lost your phone or something. And then I look at her, and she's like, sorry, sorry, Lewis, I didn't mean to. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, she's annoying. I made a video about this teacher before. It was the, um, uh, teacher gets triggered video. She's the same teacher. So, we're in her class. Class is over. Actually, no. This is very important. This is a very important detail. She has us do exit slips, which are just basically like um, bell ringers or something, but you do them in like mid to end of class and hand them back to her so she knows how much you know and if you need help with anything. And I bring mine up to the front of the class, walk back, and my phone is sticking out of the side pocket of my backpack. Now, I could have done that and not known. Dustin could have done that. Jake could have done that. I have no idea. So, I'm like... Yo, how the heck did my phone get there? So, I told Dustin at the end of the class period, and we're just standing there, the bell rings, and she's like, whoa, 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 where are you guys going? We, didn't, we hadn't even really moved. And she's like, whoa, where are you guys going? Get back here. 
and then she's like talking to us about it. She's like, I don't have time for this. I'm just going to tell the vice principal about this and then he might give you a detention for it, but I'm definitely going to give you a detention for disrupting our, my class. So that's two detentions right there. So we asked her, is there a way we can get rid of the detentions? And she said, yeah, if you talk to the vice principal, like if he calls you down and you talk to him and he might be able to absolve you of the two, he, he was like, yeah, he might be able to absolve you of them like very like no that's not gonna happen whatsoever I'm gonna make sure you guys get a detention so she said that we were gonna be able to talk to him we never talked to him she told us the next day she gave us detention the next day like these these papers that we had to sign saying that we had detention we signed those the next day and we never got to talk to him. We never got to see if he would absolve us, if he would give us two, if he would give us one. She said she talked to him. We didn't get to say our side of the story whatsoever. She's very biased. I feel like she is a very, very biased person. So we didn't get to say our side of the story whatsoever. And so uh, we were given detention slips. And then she said, you're going to be serving this next week, like midweek uh, next week. But guess what? Next week was three snow days in a row, so we never had to serve it. And I asked Dustin, because Dustin has had detentions before. I asked him, um, are we going to have to serve this some other time? He said, yeah, we probably should serve this some other time, except if nobody says anything, then we don't really have to do anything. So nobody said anything to us. It's been about, I don't know, um, a month since this happened. So nobody said anything to us. We still have not had these detentions. I will make a video about detention, if you guys want me to, if I ever have it. But the other thing is, if I go online and check where my grades are, there's also a tab that says discipline, and there's nothing under there. My detention would have been under there if it was like an actual detention. So I don't know if this teacher is just trying to scare us or what, but she's very annoying and uh, you know, she it might have worked, but you know, she's not actually making us serve detention, so don't know what good it does. So uh, that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. This has been Captain SNES signing out. Peace.